Bow. Right, guys, Captain Stort Vader here again. Let's just continue. Straight back to where we were in. So, I left you last time asking you whether I should go to the Zoltan controlled sector or the Uncharted Nebula. And I also wanted to know what you thought I should do with my scrap, because I've got a bit of scrap and I've got a few things that could do with upgrading. Now, I've had a lot of people telling me, in fact I've got YouTube up here, you won't be able to see it, so there's my mouse and it's gone. Um, so you're just going to have to listen to me for a bit. Just skip ahead until you see me actually clicking on something, um, if you don't want to watch this. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly go through some of the comments. Um, obviously lots of people saying that they love FTL and damn straight, you know, jolly good show Steve from whatever Life 101, thank you, I love it. Um, right, first of all, Daniel Morris said, I think you should stay in the top sectors on the chart so you can get to see the two red sectors at the end. If one of them is the Rock Homeworlds, you can get a new ship if you're lucky. I say upgrade the doors, because I always in get invaded a lot in later sectors. So, yeah, that's another person who wants Zoltan. And it looks like quite a lot of people want Zoltan, I have to say. A lot of people say that. Um, Halamantariel. Halamantariel. I hope I said that right. Um, I say you should get more reactor power. That's what he says. More reactor power. That way you can keep your shields at level 2 and have the fighting drone online at the same time. Well, I think that's a good idea, to be quite honest. I think that's a very good idea. Um, so good that I might actually just do it now. But we've got some other things that I need to need to share with you. Um, a couple of people, including Halamantariel, have said, uh, in the options I can activate option number 6, which helps a lot with planning my routes in a sector. So what that will do is it will tell me you know, if I can jump from one to another, it will show me the network. I don't like playing with that. I like the risk. You know, if I was actually in outer space and I had just a map, it wouldn't show me which ones would go. No, 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 it would just be a starship map. Uh, sorry, a star map. So I, I'd prefer I prefer like this. Um, Alex Covington says more power, lots of power. Fat Potato and Da Consol Noob both say Nebula. Um, actually, quite a few people have said Nebula. Jloon2084 says, Go Zoltan, so you have more cho more choices further into the game. That is, if you survive. Well, thank you, Jloon2084. Um, now, I read some really interesting ones here. Ah! Joshua. Joshua Henry in the weapons has sent me a message saying, I think that you should go into the Zoltan sector. Also, I think that you should wait until you have 75 scrap. Then purchase three more power bars so you can power your drone as well and have one power to spare for the medbay. Very good idea. Very, very good idea, Josh. And, um, yeah, you know, leave the big thinking to me, sir. Get back to your weapons room. No, I'm just kidding. Um, some people say keep the scraps because you never know, you might get a powerful weapon or crew member. That's uh, King Rare 5. Um. Two t oh, for God's sake. 2244668888101010 seriously says go for the zoltan but he also says if at first you if you, if at first you don't succeed try again because obviously last time i went to the zoltan they whipped my ass um, he also says i recommend you pour that money into the engines by sector 3 which is where i'm about to hit you should have one or two more power in the engines than when you began and currently i've got no more however I did read one, just recently, where was it? Right, this was an interesting comment, and it was from Mimzu. They said, Steve, best way to manage the scrap, go through the first at least two sectors without spending anything on your ship. You'll manage, you'll be powerful enough. This way, as soon as you find a shop, you'll be able to buy right away the good stuff. You'll still have the option to upgrade your ship in the ship part because the prices don't move. And that's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. Um, it's a bit late for that because I've just finished the second sector. But, mm, yeah. So I think, yeah, what I should probably do is... Now, there was another option that someone said. Ah, yes, it was Nightbringer. Nightbringer 82, the um, the designer of, of this ship. 
says, hmm, based upon my ship designs and the systems that have gone into it, I would say that upgrading your doors to prevent borders is a good choice. Nothing wrong with having a bit of extra strength in them, eh? But I would also suggest that perhaps one more upgrade to your life support system would be good. The last report I received from the captain of a ship similar to this was that the life support was a bit... Oh, well, yeah, I was a bit off. Yeah, well, we know a ball about that. I've learned my lesson there, sir. I've learned my lesson there. Um, we just had one or two more that were very very useful um, bits of advice and I can't remember where it was sorry guys you're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to wait while I find it ah there you go striker UK 11 says go Zoltan it leaves you with more options in the future get some power so you can have everything powered on at once see that seems like a good option at the moment lots of people want that if after that you have any spare upgrade the doors which Sounds like the second best option that people say. Do not upgrade the engine. Not worth it in my opinion. After you have full power, make make get make getting better weapons your main priority, or you'll soon you will find yourself outclassed. See, that's absolutely true as well. And the last one um, was, in fact, it was Daniel Morris again um, saying, uh, "Get a defense drone to stop the missiles." Someone else said that as well, actually. Um, who, who else said that? Uh, I want to just give you a shout out because it was worthwhile. Um, I can't find them. Someone else said that the uh, obviously the the missiles were absolutely eating into my engine, in into my ship's hull. I can't find the comment at the moment. Maybe it's been deleted or something. I don't know. But um, whoever that was, thank you very much. That was a very good point. Um, having a defensive drone, if I can buy one at some point, is very, very important because missiles always screw me over. But anyway, enough talking. Oh, finally, finally, Captain Aslan has left me a message saying, Captain Aslan here. Oh no, he's not a Captain Aslan. What am I talking about? Get out of there. You come into my ready room. Don't call yourself the Captain. I know you put a comma between Captain and Aslan, and I should have read it better, but still, you're not the Captain. You're the pilot. Anyway, my my mistake. Captain, Aslan here. You seem to have discovered part of my past. Before becoming a pilot on my home planet, I helped the sick. I tried to battle the plagues and diseases that swept the land, but alas, it did not work. So many died, and there was nothing we could do. To stop any such calamity befalling the crew from any similar disease or to help others, I think the medical technology should be upgraded just in case. Aslan out. Well, okay. Tell you what. Some people have said upgrade the med bay. I'm not going to upgrade it directly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy Bosch Bosch. Two more power. That way I can have the anti-ship drone on and as soon as I get another power, another ten scrap, sorry, I'm going to buy another power. And that way I can power the med bay and we can all be safe and sound. However, I do also need some money to buy a defence drone. I can't remember how much it costs, but we'll get there. Anyway, it's been about five minutes now, at least, probably, so let's get on with it. Next sector, Zoltan controlled sector. That's what won. Not by much, but it did win. Plus, I like the sound of Zoltan, and last time I went to a nebula, it was awful as well as last time I went to Zoltan, so let's just do it. Right. A nice bit of drink, sorry. So I've got a still bit of got a got a bit of a strange throat, so you're gonna have to deal with that. The Zoltan patrol their borders, but let you pass when you ID as Federation. Let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels. <laughs> Let's hope indeed. Ah, oh, there's a I t seriously, two stores. Two stores. And I haven't got anything I can I I haven't got any money, and I bet they're gonna sell defence drones, aren't they? Ugh. Well, there's no point in going to them, is there? Well, I'll go to this one, because I've got to go to one of them. A mantis crew here has hunkered down in the abdomen of a long-dead space whale. <laughs> the only way, presumably, for them to operate their black market trade without detection. Worth a look? I should think so. Oh, look, and they've got people as well. I, I Actually, I should really buy a mantis rather than a human. Um, oh, that's really annoying. I've got anything I can sell? I shouldn't have bought that, really. Could sell the anti ship, but that's ridiculous. Anyway, doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. There wasn't anything I wanted to buy there anyway. 
Let's get let's get adventuring, guys. Let's get adventuring. Inside this nebula, you detect a rogue planet drifting through space. On its surface, a huge monolith visible at this distance, even to the naked eye. A Zoltan Elder hails you from the planet. Through luck or intent, you have discovered the Great Eye. Look into its depths and receive your just desert. <laughs> well, we all know what happened last time. One of my people got turned into a baby. I can't remember who it was, but they did, and there's absolutely no way I'm pulling the ship in closer. So I'm leaving. Your mission is to save the Federation, not discover new wonders around the galaxy. You prepare to jump. Well, exactly right. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to mess around. If I lose one of my crew members, I'm stuffed. Unless it's Charlie. Charlie's new. But even so, Charlie. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three... <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Still no battles. You jump into the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. Shall we manually search the wreckage for survivors and equipment, or avoid the risk and wait to jump away unscathed? We're so gonna search. Among the junk and scrap, you find a salvable, salvageable drone schematic. You decide to quit while ahead and prepare to jump with your recent find. 36 scrap, yum, and a system repair drone. I didn't want a system repair bloody drone, did I? I suppose it's useful to have just in case, isn't it? Can I put it? Okay. Yeah. We'll seek out damaged systems and repair them automatically. Well, I suppose that's quite useful if, say, the oxygen goes or something. Hey! Ah! If everyone... Sorry, adjusting microphone if that was a bit loud. If everyone's stuck in the med bay, and then... I need to send someone in... Yeah! Perfect. Um, let's put these online, shall we? Oh, I can't, because there's no power. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and we haven't got oxygen online either, so <laughs> everyone's going to start dying. Uh, what was I going to do briefly before I jumped? Oh, yeah. I've got the money now. I got the money. So. Shall I buy that? Or shall I upgrade doors first? Both. Done. Don't need to think about it. It's done. So now I've got an extra power to power the med base, so we've got healing at all times, and I've upgraded the doors. So, don't care. If you don't like what I just did, stuff you. I'm captain of this spaceship, thank you very much. You feel naked, lol, without functioning sensors. You half expect a rebel ship to appear from behind a cloud at any moment, but none come. I think it is for that, because... Yeah, no sensors. There we go, look, and now we've got these both on. Ah, oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Next bit of nebula, hopefully the last I'll ever see. Hate nebula. Aha! Finally we meet some match. This nebula turns out to be the hiding place of a terrified rock crew f uh, taking refuge from the Zoltan border police. They don't seem prepared to risk your leaving with their coordinates and open fire. Well, they, they started it, Governor. They started it. So, now what were we doing? So Ion Blast goes onto their weapons, and we heavy laser their engines. And I think we can use an anti-ship. Why not? Bit of fun. Come on then, Josh. Charge those up. Joshua, rather. Oh, come on. Stop missing. Ah, oh, that cutting beam's not going to cut it. Lol. Um, oh, the rock ship moves into a defensive position and transmits a white flag signal. They seem to be willing to be buy their lives. Eight missiles, one drone part, 20 scrap. Or not accept. Well, I don't really use missiles at the moment. I suppose I could do eventually. One drone part's useful. Yeah, I'll accept that. I was going to say, I don't want to have wasted a drone, but if I get one back, that doesn't matter. And I get 20 scrap for my trouble as well. I'm happy with that. Shall I go this way or this way? I'm going to go this way, because I've got more choice if there's something cool pops up. Oh, we've got another battle. A small rebel ship is docked at a small station. You try to lay low, but it spots you. Power up the weapons. Shall do, sir. Shall do. Alright, let's hit... Oh my god, they've got a bloody drone now, haven't they? Right, well, we're going to hit their drones. That's what we're going to do. And we'll get that online as well. Can't be doing with this. Come on, let's take them down. That's their weapon off. Good. Let's take it off again. Yes! Their drone is offline. Now let's laser their engines. No, let's laser their shields. 
Ah, oh, bugger. Come on. Come on, their weapons have come back online. We don't need this. Take that drone down. Right, their shields are off. Their weapons are off. Ah, oh, we're fine. You've clearly bested us. We merely request our lives. Four missiles, drone part, 17 scrap. No, nope, because I've got you. You're dead, mate. This time, Joshua Henry wants blood. And he shall have it. Three fuel. Oh, see, I got fuel that time. That's what I needed more than missiles. Uh, two missiles and 33 scrap. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Good, good. Let me just move my microphone. Sorry, I'm moving my microphone a bit at the moment. Okay. Ah, oh, see? Distress. Gotta go to the distress. Can I go one, two, three, four, five, six? Can I get... Oh, can I do all of that? I probably can't. No, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna be careful. Distress. Greetings. It's so good to see you. We've been out of fuel and floating out here for weeks. We were terrified a pirate or those damn rebels would find us first. Can you spare us some fuel? Give them some fuel. Minus two. Or apologise, wish them luck and continue on. I've got 13. I can spare that. Thank the gods we can finally get out of here. We're jumping straight home to take this extra weapon. We won't need it. Hopefully. A small bomb. Ooh. See, it was worth being kind. And it only, oh, it only takes one... Let's have a look. only takes one power. Self-teleporting explosive that damages systems and crew, but not the hull, can target your own ship. So it damages systems and crew, but not the hull. Alright, well, that's, that's still quite useful if I want to take out the shields or something. Um, can it breach shields? That's what I want to know. Oh, well, I'll try it. T it requires a missile. Well, that's good, because I've got 26. I need to use them up. One power, um, low fire chance, two personnel damage, two system damage. Well, that's actually quite useful. I'm going to keep hold of that. And, in fact, you know, oh, I've just got enough to get one of those. So I can try that. I'm not going to for now. Because I haven't got enough money. Let's go down to the next distress. Could do with some more fuel. Should have bought some. Oh, here we go. You arrive to find a lumbering Zoltan freighter with no one at the helm. It's a mystery what happened to the crew, but it'd be a shame to let the opportunity go to waste. Two fuel, two missiles, 34 scrap. Well, lovely. <laughs> that sorts me out then. So what I was going to do... So I, I've, I've done what you told me. I got one in the med bay and I got two more power so I could have the drones and the laser on at the same time. Uh, sorry, drones and the shield. So, now it's all up to me. I don't need that yet, because I don't have teleporters. Um, my drones are fine. I don't want to have system repair at the moment. I just want the small bomb. It's going to be expensive, though. That's the thing. Would I get more bang for my buck? So, that's going to cost me 50. Plus, what was that? 25. So, it's going to cost me 75 overall. If I spent 75 here, that's 15. 30, that's 45. Plus 40. So, okay, 85. So, if I did that... That gets me an extra... What's that? An extra, like... 15% evasion. Hmm. Now, I think my evasion's okay at the moment, because I'm currently... There you go. Sorted. Because I'm currently concentrating on knocking out their systems. So if I can knock out their weapons, I don't need to evade. Yeah, I think I made a good choice there. Feel free to tell me if you don't think I have, but... I think I have. You arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. Oh, shall we participate or shall we decline? Because last time we did something for the Zoltan, we they fucked us up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Your crew calmly lines up. After a short time, the process is done. They contact you. Thank you for your participa participation. Participation. Please accept these small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap. Oh, well, 20 scrap for... Potentially a life-threatening situation. So shall I put it in there? No, I'm I'm going to start concentrating on what people said now. I'm going to save up my scrap, just in case there's a really cool weapon or drone or something at a store coming up. That's what, I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save it up for a bit. I can upgrade my engines later. A Zoltan shipyard is stationed at this beacon. You admire the display of hundreds of glowing Zoltan performing delicate exterior work on a massive transport ship. Ah, oh, awesome. Um, let's go one, two, three, shall we? Oh, I reckon we've got time for that. Now oh, we're exploring these Zoltan homewards pretty well. 
pretty well. A rebel ship moves in to engage. For what reason? Horrible thing. You attempt to open up communications, but realise the futility of that action when you see the ship is run by an AI. Ah, oh, AI is easy. Right, here we go. Let's ion blast their weaponry. Let's heavy laser their shields and S bomb their drone. And we'll see how this goes. S bomb. Small bomb. I don't think they've got missiles, so they can't get through these shields of mine. Oh, that's their shields down anyway. Come on. Oh, that bomb didn't bloody work, did it? Maybe it's because the shields came back up, back up online. I don't know. Ah, oh, yes, their drone's offline. Excellent. We're sorted. Right, we can turn that off now. How can we got these? We'll just keep that offline. Oh, they can't repair themselves, can they? Oh, brilliant. I'll just knock everything out then. Oh, come on, Josh. You just gotta hit once. Come on. There you go. I probably should have made it easier for you and asked you to target their hull, but never mind. The ship explodes, leaving behind two fuel. Lovely. One drone part, 39 scrap. Beauty. See, now I've got some decent scrap. If I come across a store, I'm buying a defensive drone. If if I do come across one that sells it. Oh, can I go one, two, three? No, I'm not going to try that. Not trying that. Not, not pushing my luck. You pick up the last broadcast from a rupturing Zoltan freighter. The Mantis, they're here. Please... You're interrupted by fire off the port bow. Right, well, this will be easy. This will be nice and easy. Hit their weaponry. Hit their shields. S bomb? Should we S bomb? Yeah, we've got shitloads of missiles. Let's S bomb their engines. Eh? No, other way around. There you go. S bomb their shields. Heavy laser their engines. Right, shields are knocked out. Engines are offline. Wonderful. Right, we've hit their shields. Oh, we're doing well here, guys. We're doing well. Let's laser their, their shields as well. Keep them offline. Oh, yes. There we go. Lovely. Right, we can turn the S-bomb off now. Small bomb. Good work, everyone. We're doing well here. We're not, doing, we're not going fast, but we don't need to. The ship leaves one missile, one drone part, 26 scrap. See, uh, mm. See, there isn't a store nearby. I could spend some money on my ship. Tell you what, I'll, I'll decide that when I get to the next sector. Because once I'm in the next sector, I'll be able to see if there's a store nearby. Right. A nearby space station hails you. Greetings, your arrival is most fortuitous. We recently came across some extra drones. If you have some fuel, perhaps we can make a deal? Two fuel for three drone parts. Now, normally I would, because drone parts are worth a lot more than fuel. But I'm running low on fuel, and I don't want to, you know, get stuck out in the middle of nowhere. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to reject, but with a heavy heart. Call that was just in time. Right, NG controlled or civilian sector? Hmm. See, I can't tell what the next one's after that's going to be. Hmm. Oh, wait. If, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go NG, because that keeps me to the top of the map, and then I'm not tempted to go down there, and this way I can maybe get to the rock home world. So, NG, please.